we never get too high, too low on preseason. Um, mm-hmm. I know even like last year we were we were talking about you know Justin's performance. We're like, listen, if he goes out there and he does bad, whatever. If he does, goes out there and does great, whatever. It's preseason, right? And he went out there and had like what a hundred yards on like three throws that that you know uh, screen to DJ Moore, and we came back and we're like, okay, whatever. Like it's it's preseason. Um, I've always kind of been that way throughout my my entire. Uh, fandom as a Bears fan and for some reason th- there's a little tickle inside right now I, I just I I don't want to like come out and hype it up but man you look you look at this kid and it's just like okay so you wonder if these skills from college will translate to the NFL right like I said preseason whatever against twos and threes but um but it's not against college anymore and he's just out there looking the same and and the same is pretty. Like Caleb Williams seems like he is processing things very, very well. I'm so pumped to see this kid go out in week one and play. And like I said, I try not to put my chips too much all in on the preseason games, but it is hard not to be excited right now from from my point of view. Cause I think I, I mean, I truly think that this kid's going to go out there and light it up. I really do. Um, I don't, I know there's always a chance of failure in this and that. I'm trying to envision scenarios where it happens. I mean, injury is the only thing that I can think of that's going to stop this kid. Yeah, I mean, you're you're saying you're super hyped up, and even then, we we talked about comparing stats and our predictions for his stats for the year, and I think I, mine shot up much more from seeing the preseason than yours did. So, I mean, I'm going to be the measured one here and like kind of try to be logical about why I'm so excited, but I'm freaking out right now. Internally, I'm freaking out with like how excited this looks because the reasons here, and this is, we've kind of reached these conclusions over the last few years talking about quarterbacks in the NFL. You know, we we've said this, that like the, the gap between college and pros for quarterbacks nowadays, it feels like it's getting smaller, right? Because college is more professional and the pros, you basically just like transition as opposed to like, it's a whole different game. Yeah, all the players are much better, but like you're playing the same kind of football nowadays more. So I think that was kind of indicative of his preseason so far is that at least you see that what his style is, it's going to work. So that's the positive that you saw. The other positives that I think you can kind of gain from freaking out about it is that he, he so far the worst part of Caleb Williams in the preseason is that he doesn't like hit the timing perfectly yet. Right. It's like that in rhythm in routine, like system type quarterback stuff. Like, but that makes perfect sense. Why the hell would he be a perfect system quarterback? He's been in this system for four months. It would make no sense for him to look sharp and, you know, neat. And like, he knows the playbook, like the back of his hand. And even then he's doing it pretty damn well. At least it just, the, the reasons to be excited is because you didn't see anything like that was a miracle. It's things that will translate from a preseason game into regular season games. Yeah. But I think the reason to be excited is because like we saw what he could do and it looks legitimate and it looks transferable. And so just like extrapolate what he did in this game over like 17, 18 games, if he's healthy, man, like the, I have my, we're going to do our predictions later, like statistically, but mine, mine shot up after seeing these games, mine shot up like a lot, like 20% when I think about it and I try and rationalize it, I guess what I kind of come to a conclusion with all this is I think, you know, with Justin, I always thought the ceiling was so, so high. His potential could be so high, but then I was like, but the floor seems a bit too low. Like when it's bad, it's really bad. It was like 80 Um, yards a game low. Yeah. I I don't, I think the floor with Caleb is really high. Like not only is the potential really high, but I think, the floor, the base, like the worst you're going to get from him is still going to be really pretty damn good compared to what we're used to here in Chicago. And that's why I'm excited because it's like, man, I don't want to see those games anymore where like we struggle to get a first down for an entire half. You know, I know in our conversations, uh, we were talking about, you know, sack numbers and this and that. And you, you said something that kind of stuck with me. You're like, dude, there's just some quarterbacks out there that won't get, will allow getting sacked. I mean, they all do, right? They also get sacked. Like, you can't help it. But, like, Tom Brady, if the left tackle gives up his pressure, throw the ball at the ground. Done. Next play. Like, you get certain, you know, a certain floor from some guys that's very beneficial overall to the football team and to the game that they're playing. And uh, that's what I'm kind of seeing from Caleb and feeling a little bit that, like, man, this kid at minimum 
is going to be pretty damn good. Yeah, I think you're getting like the hints of him being like a psycho in the best way that we always love, right? Like I watched a Joe Burrow interview the other day and he was like, I don't want to allow my family to sit next to me for 48 hours before a game day. And they were, he was like, why? Like, I just, I have only I'm a different certain, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I'm a different Joe. I have a certain amount of mental energy to expend in those 48 hours and I'm not going to be pleasant to be around. So like that made me respect Joe Burrow. I'm like, dude, you're psychotic in like the best way. That's awesome. Like you focus, you're, you know, yeah. you're focused, you're locked in. And then even Caleb blamed himself for that one sack that obviously probably wasn't really his fault. It might've been a bit of his fault, but like even then he blamed him, blamed him on himself. And then he said basically how he could fix the problem in the bad games. They'll have like 15, 20 points. Like I, I think they're just going to, you know, I think the team is just built too well to, to flop as hard as even last year's could have. Williams a deeper drop this time. All that, but if he can set his feet just a little bit more, he had enough time. Nice job avoiding here. Evades the pressure. Stepping up. Off platform. He does this so well, he typically makes the first guy miss. Now steps up. Now just set your feet and gather. Position here from the 48. He's looking downfield. How he just bails out of the pocket here. This is the toughest throw you've ever there. Spins away. Throws. I was a quarterback and I rushed out onto the edge and the end zone's right in front of me. There is nobody else I would love to have in front of me than Tevin Jenkins mm-hmm. leading. <laughs> I would be confident myself. I'm about to run this thing in because that guy will maul somebody for you. Um, I love that he was right in front of him at that last play and just kind of ran right there with him in the end zone. I thought that was really, really nice. Um, yeah. That's what I mean. I'm hyped. Man. I mean, even a, even in the preseason games, like even that little like stutter step juke that he like stopped after a full sprint and then sprinted again. It's that stuff that we always say about we like about other quarterbacks where they're not reacting to the defense. They're making the defense react to them. Like they're fucking with people. He's he's messing with people's heads. He's putting them. He's like t- he's manipulating things out there that he wants to be done, not the other way around. And that's what we've never seen that yet. No, and especially not this early on. And that's what, like when we talk about Patrick Mahomes. Um, Patrick Mahomes said it himself. He didn't know how to read a defense in his first year. Um, I'm so scared to get so excited, man, because it looks so good. That's the thing. That's the thing. It's that PTSD. That is the mm-hmm. literally only thing that's stopping me from yeah. being thrilled. Like, oh, Are you and- kidding? If he was on like the Patriots right now or if he was a Washington Redskins uh, commander's quarterback right now, like the hype train would be out of control for these fans. They'd just be like, no, dude, we're winning the Super Bowl this year. We're all just like, hold on, let's wait a minute before we get excited. I can't handle more. I can't do yeah. it again. We may butcher the.